Hey there, fine people of the internet. My name is Trofinet and I'd like to share with you my two cents. Um, as many of you, I was eagerly awaiting the arrival of the next Mass Effect, Mass Effect Andromeda. And ever since it was announced a while back, I had this game on my must playlist for the channel. But now that it's here, I'm really hesitant to make this a fully fledged series. Um, the reasons for that are plentiful and you might not have heard all of them before in the many reviews that flooded the internet around the time of its release. So let me go over the problems I personally had with the game so far and on the other hand what I liked so far. Do bear in mind that these are my personal first impressions after a few hours with the game and some things might improve later on in the game but not that that is an excuse for some of the things I've experienced so far. Let's get the obvious elephant in the room out of the way first. The animations and character models are horrendous at times. I'm not gonna spend too much time ranting about this one, but come on. This is Bioware. The same studio that created Dragon Age Inquisition, with vibrant characters that all stand out. A studio with an incredible track record for making big RPGs that feel alive and tell incredible stories. The studio that pretty much invented the conversation wheel, which brought more interaction to any given story. That same studio, sadly, made characters that look fine for the most part, but simply don't react. I'm gonna show you a short clip that demonstrates exactly what I mean. A character that might look familiar if you've seen some of the footage for the game uh, before its release even. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. Now, I don't care that the model looks pretty bad. I don't care about how she looks as a person. What I do care about is that I don't believe a word out of her damn mouth. Because of how incredibly meager the animation is. The voice acting is great to sometimes amazing she clearly switches her tone from anger to the sad realization that her situation has become unbearable but her face doesn't relay that emotion the only part of her face held the only part of her body that's moving is her mouth opening and closing just enough to see that it's her that's talking and not anybody else no anger no despair no emotion whatsoever. Roughly 50% of the conversations I had so far are animated like this. So it's not all bad, but it's a painful sign of the underlying issue with this game. Plainly said, Mass Effect Andromeda was released, I think half a year too early, six months at the least. The bad animations on display here are a result of what I can only assume is an automated lip syncing tool, providing basic facial animations for the dialogue that needs to take place. You can actually handpick the scenes that were later adjusted by professionals and which ones were left with nothing but lifeless characters delivering their lines as though they're freaking geth before they develop any kind of personality. And it's a sad thing to say, but I feel as though this will never be fixed, which is a real pity because you can see a pretty great game just hiding beneath the surface. But hey, I said I wasn't going to drone on about the animation, so let's move on to some of the other issues, because there are quite a few. There's a few things I don't like about the story right from the get-go. The premise is pretty interesting, uh, I'm not going to spoil too much here, uh, but the enemies you encounter in the beginning are another bland group of ugly creatures that shoot anyone on sight without even the slightest reasoning. For once, I'd like to have a conversation with these guys before they start headshotting the nearest companion faster than you can say, hey there, wow, why do you all look like manfish on steroids? I'd like to get introduced to aliens before they stab me in the back. Keeps things fresh and interesting. And what's up with this thing? Did they look at the breach from Dragon Age Inquisition and say, hey, we want one of those, but let's make it blue? It's one of those things that bothered me the moment I saw it. Why would you put something so similar to the main crisis from your previous game in the first fucking level? It appears rushed and I have the creeping suspicion that it might have been the case. And then there's the gameplay. Ooh, the gameplay. I'll talk about everything I do like about the game in a minute, so don't panic when this sounds really, really bad at first. But um, I just want to get the bad stuff out of the way first and face it, it's more interesting to talk about that shit than anything else. 
The footage you're seeing now is one of the first combat encounters in the game, probably the first big one. It's also the, the one where I died the first time. Um, notice how I try to shoot at those cardboard enemies in the dropship to get the drop on them. Also notice how there's absolutely no reaction to my gunfire while enemies keep dropping out of the back and middle of the ship like little manfish thirds. That was sadly one of my first experiences with the game's combat. The enemies are even more bullet spongy than they were in previous games, making killing anything a chore rather than fun. And the only weapon you get in this first fight, in a pretty open field, is an inaccurate space assault rifle and an even less accurate space SMG. Obviously, I died in this tutorial level, partly because of my inaptitude with the controls at the time, but also because of some annoying other gameplay quirks. The cover system in uh, Mass Effect Andromeda is automatic, meaning that you move into cover when you hug a wall, or rather should move into cover, because this game has its own idea about what constitutes as hugging a wall. Adding to the difficulty of getting around the battlefield safely is that your movement kinda has some momentum to it, so you regularly don't end up where you want to go. Um, I like to compare it to the jumping from Little Big Planet, where your sack boy or girl always slides a few inches further than where they actually landed in the first place. But what really, really bothers me in the combat, the gameplay of this game, uh, and which is actually the final gameplay nail in the coffin for me, is that you barely have any control over your teammates. Eliminating the need and use for putting together a well-balanced team. Which is a sad thing to say. Gone are the tactical decisions you could make. No more using Garrus's overload on an enemy's shields to take it away quickly. No more ordering Jack to pull an enemy so you can shockwave it to death in a glorious biotic explosion. I can't imagine why they would remove a feature like that. It removes any sort of use for your squad mates. Because now you can only hope they perform their role the way they are supposed to. And still, even with all these negative points, I must admit I'm starting to get into it. Even against all its flaws, I'm starting to actually like Mass Effect Andromeda. The combat is fun and exciting when it clicks. The addition of the jetpack is a great way of improving Rider's mobility. The way you can set up the skills of your Rider, your character, kind of evens out the lack of squad mate control since all restrictions on abilities have been removed. In previous games you were locked into a single role for the entire game, but in Andromeda you can mix and match abilities to your heart's content and even swap between roles on the fly, eventually making you a Swiss army knife of biotic blasts, tech explosions and raw combat prowess. The open worlds are actually interesting to explore, even though they can be quite barren, but the introduction of a full-blown loot and weapon crafting system makes exploration something worth doing for once. And everything you do on the planet has actually an effect on the colonists of the Andromeda Initiative, which helps in further motivating you to explore every nook and cranny of every explorable planet. All in all, you can see that beneath Andromeda's flaws and unpolished exterior lies a deep and mostly engaging action RPG. I do hope Bioware gets its shit together and at least tries to fix a few of the issues. They recently hinted at more information regarding their further plans with the game, but I won't hold my breath and enjoy the product for what it is now. Um, if you like Mass Effect in general, do give Andromeda a try. Um, it's a rough start, but I feel like you can't always judge a game by its cover, and who knows, you might be pleasantly surprised. But hey, that's just uh, my two cents. Dwarfing it out. So that's my first impression with the game, but what is your idea about the game? What did you like or what did you hate? If you'd like to share that with us, don't hesitate to put something in the comments and we'll discuss it down there further. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop this video a like right here on YouTube. And uh, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next video and goodbye.